French forces at one point are only 18 miles from Belfort, at the entrance to the gap where we will see the opening phase of the battle for Germany itself. Writing from Besançon today, CBS reporter Eric Severard describes our crossing of the old German occupation line, which divided France until November 1942. It's immediately apparent, he says, that French life north of the line, where the Germans had been for four years, had been much harder than in the south. And Severide says, I quote, For one thing, the SFI, the French resistance forces, are not so well organized on the north side. The long German occupation meant that many more young men were shipped off to Germany. The Germans here have been executing Frenchmen for the slightest offenses, such as breaking the curfew. Food is a far more serious problem here. And when the French in Algiers talked about the great loss of weight among French people, they meant those here in the north, where it is actually true. End of quotation. The German army here in Italy is still fighting its own hard, separate battle. It's as though there were another war on this peninsula, unaffected by the collapse of German arms elsewhere. A few days ago, it was triumphantly announced in official bulletins here that the 8th Army had completely broken through the German defenses over by the Adriatic Sea. This was described as a decisive victory. It was expected that the 8th would smash right through to the plain and roll up the entire German line. It was not expected that the Germans would be able to improvise defenses on the few ridges ahead of us and there, behind the so-called Gothic line, stop our offensive dead. But that is what has happened. Once again, the battle in Italy has not gone according to plan. In the narrow gap by the Adriatic, the Germans have moved in many guns, many tanks, all of their frontline mobile reserves, the elements of seven divisions, including two panther divisions. To the fifth army further west will fall the difficult task of trying to breach the German defenses by frontal attack over the mountains. Whatever is happening on other fronts, German resistance is not breaking here. They are still making us fight a battle for nearly every ridge and pay for every mile of our advance in Italy. This is Winston Burdett in Rome, turning you now to Admiral in New York. The Moscow Radio reported today that in August, 1,800 enemy aircraft were shot down on the Soviet-German front, the highest number during the summer offensive. The CBS shortwave listening station recorded the broadcast, which said that in the past few weeks, the war in the air has been focused in three areas, in the Baltic, Romania, and the Black Sea, and in the Warsaw sector. The Luftwaffe has concentrated big formations in the Baltics and the districts bordering East Prussia, Volker Wolf's 190 used as fighter bombers are being sent over in groups of 100 and 150. And now here in our New York studio to discuss with us military events in the Balkans and Russia is Columbia's military analyst, Major George Fielding Elliott. Certainly the most important Russian...